So let's solve example 5.8 of your handouts. So this problem is this problem has 7 degrees of freedom but we can reduce it to 5 because EF may be replaced by its moment only and because we deal with 5 by 5 uh, matrix then we use Excel so that's the script let's call that X for this part WD as to 3 equals 24 as to 8 so WD is 9 kilonewton per meter. Fix and moment AB is integral from 0 to 5 of 30 dx times x plus 3, then distance from the right 5 minus x squared over 8 squared plus 40 times 1 times 7 squared over 8 squared. So fix and moment AB, that's the effect, and fix and force, sorry, the fix and forces. And of course, at EF, we have 30 times 2, 60 kilonewton meter counterclockwise load. So fixed end moment AB is 145, 45 over 128 kN meter. Fixed end moment BA is integral 30 dx, x plus 3 square, 5 minus x over 8 square, plus 40 times 1 square, times 7 over 8 square. And that is equal to 17935 over 128 kN meter. Summation moment B equals 0. F8 times 8 plus 17935 over 128 equals 14545 over 128 plus 40 times 7 plus 30 times 5 times 2.5. So FA is 40,225 over 512. Summation versus Y equals 0. FBL plus 40,225 over 512 equals 40 plus 30 times 5. So FBL is 111.43. 6 kilonewtons. Then for BC, uh, the load is end to end. So we have the formula WL square over 12. So 30 fixed end moment BC equals fixed end moment CB 30 times 7 square over 12. That is equal to 122.5. Same is true with the fixed end forces FBR and FCL. 1 half of 7 times 30 equals 105 kilonewtons. Then for portion CD, let's magnify CD first. Uh, equivalent load WD is 9. And this is are the spans. These are the moment fix and forces effects. Then the strip, the length of the strip, if we call this distance X, is 9 divided by 3 is 3, so 3X. Then fix and moment CD is integral of 3X dx times 3 plus x times 3 minus x squared all over 6 squared equals 189 over 80. Fix and moment bc is same integral it's x plus 3 squared this time then 3 minus x over 8 6 squared. So you'll get six two one over 80 kilonewton meter. Then summation moment d equals 0 fcr times 6 plus 6 to 1 over 80 equals 189 over 80 plus 1 half of 3 times 9 times 1. So FCR equals 1.35 kilonewtons. Then summation forces Y, FD left plus 1.35 equals 1 half of 3 times 9. So we'll get FDL equals 12.15 kilonewtons. Then we proceed to DE. So remember DE is trapezoidal but it's a combination of Uniform load across DE and triangular load of density 15, where 15 is 24 minus 9. So WL square over 12, so times 5 square over 12 plus 15 5 square over 30. So fix and moment PE is 31.25 kilonewton meter. Fix and moment e, e, ED is 9 times 5 square over 12 plus 15 times 5 square over 20 so we'll get fixed end moment ED 37.5 kilonewton meter then for the forces FDR times 5 plus 37.5 equals 31.25 plus 9 times 5 times 2.5 plus 1 half of 5 times 15 times 5 thirds so FDR is 
33.75 kilonewtons summation forces Y. So FEL plus 33.75 equals area on the trapezoid one half of five quantity nine plus twenty four. So FEL equals 48.75 kilonewtons. Now for the nodal forces at one because friction moment AB is fourteen five four five over one twenty eight counter clockwise. So if it's clockwise, it is negative one four. 545 over 128. At node 2, we have fixed end moment BA, which is uh, 17935 over 128 minus BC, fixed end moment BC, which is 122.5. The result is positive, so it is equal to 2255 over 128. At node 3, we have fixed end moment CB, which is equal to 122.5 minus fixed moment CB, which is equal to 189.80. So the result is positive counterclockwise 9611 over 80. At node 4, we have fixed moment DC, 621 over 80 minus DE, uh, 31.25. So the result is negative. So it is clockwise, 1879 over 80. And at node 5, we have fixed and moment ED, which is 37.5 minus 60, so negative 22.5 or 22.5 clockwise. Then stiffness of AB, remember the moment of inertia are different. So 12 times 1.5 divided by 8 cube. So we have. 9 over 256. The second one is 6 times 1.59 divided by 8 square, so 9 over 64. Then the negative of 9 over 256, copy 9 over 64, copy 9 over 64. This is 4 times 1.5 divided by 4 times 1.5 is 6 divided by 8, so 3 fourths. Then the negative of 9 over 64, then 1 half of 3 fourths is 3 eighths. Then the negatives of row 1, this is row 2 with columns 2 and 4 interchange. Then K of BC, so it's only I, so 12 times 1, EI1 over 7 cube. And we have already experienced this before, so we copy the stiffness of that number with length 7. So this is the stiffness. For CD, EI is 2, so 12 times 2, 24. 24 divided by 6 cubed will give us 1 over 9. So this is unique again. So 6 divided by, and notice the numbering, do not forget. 6 divided by, 6 times, 6 times 2 is 12 divided by 6 squared. So 12 divided by 36, so 1 third. Then neg negative of 1 over 9, then copy 1 third, copy 1 third here. This is 4 times 2, 8 divided by 8 divided by 6, so 4 thirds divided by length, 4 thirds. So 4 thirds, then the negative of 1 third, then half of 4 thirds is 2 thirds here. The negative of row 1, this is row 2 with columns 2 and 4 in interchange. So that's it. Then KBE is 12 times 2 divided by 5 cubes. 12 times 2 is 24 divided by 5 cubes, so 24 over 1, 2, 5. 6 times 2, 12 divided by 5 squares, so 12 over 1, 2, 5. The negative of this value here, then copy 12 over 25 here, also here. Then 4 times 2, 8 divided by span 5, so 8 over 5. The negative of 12 over 25 here, 1 half of 8 over 5. This is 4 over 5 here. Then the negative of the first row, then second row with columns 2 and 4 interchange. Then we have here the forces, the forces earlier mentioned for nodes 1 to 5. Then this is 2, 2. Now you know already how to add these cells from the preceding stiffnesses. So you just verify this. So we have, we don't have 2, 6, 2, 8, and 2, 10, so they are all 0. 
4, 8, and 4, 10 also, and 6, 10, 0. So, copy it here. So, you just check these values here. So, because this is 5 by 5, the only way we can use or we can solve U2, U4, U6, U8, U10 is by matrix inversion in Excel. It will take time if we invert this manually. And I will not give you a problem which is 5 by 5 only in the assignment but in the exams and thesis on up to 3 by 3 only. Or if it is 5 by 5, it is reducible to 3 by 3. So you have to familiar with the technique. So these are the values then transferred here. So we have here the decimal equivalence. Then the forces also. Then we have to multiply the the inverse of this matrix 5 by 5. So n mod inverse of this entries 5 by 5 a2 to e6 with this f2 to f6. So by holding down control and shift, then press enter, you get this uh, displacement displayed. So we are now going to solve for the member forces. So remember stiffness of member AB and supposedly P1, P2, P2, P4. As I said, these are the proper designations so that you can clearly or easily recognize the forces member forces then displacements only at 2 and 4 so we shade columns 1 and 3 only 2 and 4 are open then since we already have these same calculations as before these are the fixing forces so you have to verify these answers for member bc thickness then only u4 and u6 are present so shade again 3 and 5 and these are the peace and forces. You can check the answers. Then we have this member CD five six seven eight. Then we only have U six and U eight. Same cover columns so five and seven. And multiply. These are the fixed end forces. You look at the values in the preceding slide. And multiply that. Those are the results. Then member DE thickness uh, displacements only at 8 and 10. So shade again 7 and 9. So that we won't be confused. Then multiply. Then add the fixed end forces. You get these values. So it's clear that this is correct because we expect moment. DE to be or EF to be negative 60. Now we incorporate EF because we want to find the displacement at F and the rotation at F. So remember that for we already encountered this situation and I already explained that there will be no moments and forces at the left because we consider the overhang as fixed. So the load is acting over the fixed end. So only vertical force at the right end will occur, which is F, F at the right. If the load is 30, then it is also 30 upward, but the nodal force is 30 downward. So this is the stiffness, 12 times 2 divided by 2. 12 times 2 divided by 2 cube. The length of the span is 2. So 3, then 6 times 2, 12 divided by square 12 over 4 is 3 also then the negative of 3 then copy 3 copy 3 here 4 times 2 is 8 divided by span 2 so 4 and copy negative 3 2 the negatives of row 1 and row 2 with columns 2 and 4 interchange that's it then for the forces we have 0 0 negative 30 the load in zero then this is the matrix so we have to expand rows 11 and 12 for any two rows but let's stick where the unknowns are then we have to expand that those rows with the unknowns associated with the unknown 
So we have negative 30 zero is equal to this two by two matrix here times this displacement here plus this two by two matrix times this unknown displacement. So negative three, negative three, three two times zero, negative three point two four, three four two five six plus three, negative three, negative three four times u eleven u twelve. Then expand negative thirty minus. 3 times 0, minus negative 3 times 0, minus negative 3 times negative 3.34256, then zero, uh, the second row is 0, minus 3 times 0, minus 2 times negative 3.34256, so it becomes positive the second row. So negative 40.0277, 6.68512 times this matrix here, times this unknown displacement. U11, U12, it corresponds to delta F and theta F respectively. Solving for this matrix, it is the inverse of this 2 by 2 matrix times this first matrix. You will get negative 46.6851 over and negative 33.3426 over EI. Finally, for member EF, so this is the, the stiffness and these are the displacements. Only u9 is 0 so only column 9 is shaded here and distribute multiply fix and forces as i said would be 0 0 except for the upward force at the right end where the load is located and moment is 0 also so these are the results so moment a is the negative of moment a the negative of moment AD, so it's zero, so zero. So moment, let's begin with moment at the, the negative of NBC is negative 168.955. By the way, it's zero because it was pin connected at the left end at A. Then moment BC is the negative of moment BC is moment B. The negative of moment CD is CD. CD is negative 72.223, that's moment of C. Then moment of D is moment of DE, the negative of moment DE. So negative of negative 5.728 is positive. 5.728, then moment ED, DEF is 6. The negative of positive 60 is negative 60 kilonewton meter and for the reactions so reaction at a is 60.756 reaction at b is reaction at b is shear b left plus shear b right you already know that reaction at c is shear c left plus shear c right and so on and so forth so everything is already experienced with our previous examples